Boots have gone woke this Christmas and people are not happy about it. They are outraged. Who in their right mind thought that this was a good idea? Superdrug will be my choice of year this year. Goodbye Boots. Boots, I will never step in your store again. Customers for 30 years. Hello Superdrug. It goes on. Oh dear Boots, think you might lose a few customers after that. One absolute load of woke. Rubbish. Hope everyone finds alternatives to Boots this Christmas. Go woke, go broke. Boycott Boots, shame on you. It goes on and on. I don't know what's worse, the commercial or the censorship of comments in the original video. So what is this all about? What is happening here? Why is there outrage? So let me just, I'm gonna click onto this video. I'll share some uh, screenshots of the video and we'll go through it and I'll give some commentary. That's what this is all about, commentary. Get in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. I will also share with you exactly the video that I'm watching right now. So you can watch it for yourself. So let's get this started. So let's pause that. So the first thing that you see is uh, coming through the door, boots, high heel boots, and you see Santa Claus snoring on a chair. Mrs. Claus's workshop, obviously getting ready. I can see already why people are outraged. Obviously, there's a lot of diversity. People, you know, uh, ladies that they're, they're all getting, they're all dressed up, different races. Santa Claus is woken up by an alarm. Looks kind of clumsy, and essentially, okay, let's discuss what Christmas is actually all about. Whether you celebrate Christmas or you don't, traditionally, from where I'm from, uh, traditionally you think about Christmas as a time for family. You think about Christmas as a time to, to be with your granddad, your, your grandma, you have your, you know, your grandparents around. Um, you have your brothers, your sisters, the family unit is together. You see your mum and dad, they're sat around watching a movie, getting ready for the Christmas cheer, a time to celebrate, a time to come together as a traditional loving family. And traditionally you think of Santa Claus, you think of Father Christmas, who brings the Christmas cheer, who brings the imagination to our children as he flies around the sky delivering presents across uh, the, you know, the world to, to children that are going to sleep on a, on a Christmas Eve, ready to the imagination of, of Christmas. And I've got young, ch young children. I've, you may have young children. And it's, it's such a, a, a magical time. So then you think from a business point of view, you think advertising point of view, one of the things that people always look forward to is Christmas adverts. And when you go back over the years, it's become a thing. Like, I can't wait to see a particular uh, sh a store's advert. And the, the stores and the companies have morphed into, in this particular case, into like, what is the actual objective here? What is the message? Is the message here from Boobs? Is the message to go shopping at Boots? Is the message to go into store and find gifts for your loved ones? That's not what I'm seeing in here. In fact, yes, I'm seeing them putting lipstick on. I'm seeing them put some spray on. Yes, I see them curling their hairs. And then at the end, there's like a bow that comes like a magical thing. But that's not the... That's not actually the takeaway that we're getting here. The takeaway that I see is Father Christmas is lazy, he's asleep, he's snoring, he's sat there in his chair, feet up, I believe it was. Yeah, feet up. She then has the impression, Mrs. Claus has the impression of, well, if you're just sleeping, then I'll have to go do it. I'll go do it, let me get myself ready. Now, regardless on what your beliefs are, 
I believe we're all one single human race. It doesn't matter what colour you are, it doesn't matter what sexuality you are, it doesn't matter what religion you are, that's not what I'm here to say. Everybody, each to their own. As long as we're abiding by the law, people can do ultimately what they want, how they express themselves. But it comes down to, does a, a corporation that is shown advertising on people's televisions, on people's phones, and social media where you've got younger children watching television and then they see an advert like this. What is the message here? The message to me is you can't do it, so I'll do it. And then there's a lot of flamboyancy, a lot of um, let's, we've got this. And then at the end, the punchline is the alarm clocks, you know, woken up Santa Claus and now he's gonna go out. I'm not getting any type of encouragement to check out booze. There's nothing in there that's exciting me to go to booze. I'm not, I haven't even seen, you can't really see, yes, you can see different products that they use, but there's no, there's no shot of a particular product, not that I'm aware of. There's no, they're not advertising something specifically. They're not advertising a brand new range of makeup or a brand new curling iron. They're not advertising anything. So what is, they're not advertising anything from what they've got to sell to their customers. So what is this all about? I can see why, just awful. Just comment, just awful. Most comments on their Boots official website, YouTube, have been deleted. I meant the ones that they hated. People obviously will either hate this or love this. Uh, they'll love the advert or hate the advert. You watching this will either love what I'm talking about or not what I'm talking about. Get your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. But without a shadow of a doubt, Boots comments, never shopping in Boots again. Boots is done. Go woke, go broke. In the bin, never again. Get lost Boots. Shall never buy from you again. This is what is happening in society right now. Disturbing load of woke ideology will not be buying from boots. This is what's happening. What's happening under the layers? What is the meaning of this? To me, how I think about it as I comment, I'm just doing commentary about this. I believe in the, um, I believe that everybody has their own personal sovereignty. Sovereignty, is that the word? Um, you, can, you can look after yourself, right? You do what you do. It doesn't matter what you believe in, who you are, what color you are, uh, how, you do, how you decide to spend your life, that's, that's fine. You live your best life. I want to live also my best life. But I think what people are not appreciating is being forced on what we should or shouldn't believe. The beliefs are being forced upon us. When traditionally, when you think of traditional values, traditionally, I remember thinking family time, family with my loved ones, sitting around watching, you know, at Christmas, watching movies, drinking some mulled wine, right? Eating chocolates, looking forward to Christmas, like making it a magical time for the family unit. And what this is doing, it's, I'm seeing more, it's separating, it's dividing, it's dividing, it's dividing camps. People are either going to be in the far extreme where they're disgusted by this, or some people are going to be like, they embrace it, and that's fine. But what I don't personally like, just to share my honest opinion here, is I don't like this identity politics. I don't like this wokeness. I, I have no issue with absolutely anybody that wants to do anything. It's up to you. But for me, one of the things that I'm so proud of this Christmas, for me personally, is that I'm going to go into my first Christmas as a husband. Husband for my darling wife. And we believe in the family unit. We talk about different family uh, beliefs and values. 
We, we talk about, we're looking forward to Christmas, having, you know, nanny round, having a family round. This is not it. This is not what I want to be sharing with my children. We've got to think progressive. We've got to think, yes, understanding and awareness, okay, awareness, but from a, from a severe, like a radical pushing towards progression makes people feel uncomfortable. That's why people are saying cringiest advert ever. You've got to find the, the line, the line of this isn't making people uncomfortable. You, the, big, the best adverts, the best Christmas adverts are always based on traditional values. Many times that means that, you know what, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, Mrs. you know, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, they're both working together as a unit. There's no separation. There's no separation between males and females. There's no separations of different types of uh, what you look, how you see, you, you essentially, you've got Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and you've got then the elves working for a common mission that is to provide the imagination of children at Christmas, families at Christmas, traditional values at Christmas. Let me know your comments down below. <sighs> Boots, you um, may be dropping in revenue this Christmas based on what I'm seeing here. Go woke, go broke. Time and time again, we've seen companies do this and it has a massive impact on what they actually are able to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Kev, hit the subscribe button. We talk all things, uh, everything from entrepreneurship to, to business owning and um, taking massive action, productivity, and um, we're doing some commentary on current affairs here as well. Take care, keep taking massive action. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.